so far as now we know a bit about asp.net theoretically about its page life cycle how to configure the ias and we have also done the installation of the visual studio so now we are good enough to get start with the first basic application created in asp.net so let's see what all are the basic things which is required for creating the first application so to create the first website in asp.net first of all we'll have to open the visual studio so let's open that and we'll make sure if i want to create my website directly over the ias i will just run it as an administrator So now as soon as your Visual Studio is open you can observe like here it is Visual Studio Administrator that is because we have run the Visual Studio as Administrator. Now here we'll come to file and we'll say new website. Inside this we will get a multiple options of the templates at what in what way I want to create the website so first of all I'll choose the language visual C sharp and then I will go for the ASP.NET empty website by default the latest framework is there so I'll continue with the same that is .NET framework 4.6 and here on the bottom you can go for the file location if you want to go for file system you can simply browse and give any particular path which will create a website in that particular location once you are done with the creation of website you can later deploy your website over the IIS but what I'm going to do for now I will choose HTTP out here and after that HTTP that is the protocol local host that is the server name provided by IIS which I just configured and after that I will give the name of my website that is my demo web I'll say OK and it will also create a virtual directory out there in my IIS so as you can see now the project has been created successfully over the local host now let's open the inet manager again that is the IIS again and inside this I will find inside default website my demo web alright so this is the web name which I just created and now you can see since it is created over the local host I can see that directly from this particular place and inside this I can also see the content because right now only web.config files are here so that are visible out here so this is how you can create a basic website now after that if I want to continue with some other tasks inside this I will simply uh, start adding the page like I'll right click over my project name not over the solution rather over my project I'll say add and I will add any particular things like add new item and inside this I can go for any HTML page, any static web page, JavaScript, style sheet but majorly we will go for the web forms so for example if I want to create a form I will just give any particular name like home.aspx where ASPX is the extension of the web pages and any particular name whatever you want and let's say add and here you can see like now home.aspx page has been added to my website with few of the HTML you should have a good knowledge of HTML because we are not covering HTML specifically here itself uh, but yes few things you can see which are out of the scope of HTML like at the top you can see there is a page directive when you put in, you are putting the head or a form tag there is something called run at server which we will discuss in our coming videos but if I want to see the output of this particular page in the browser here at the top you can see there is a list of all the browsers which are available in your system you can just choose any of those particular browser and just click on the execute it will enable it to make the execution and here at the top you can see the URL that is the server name that is localhost my demo, um, demo web that is the project name and then home.aspx that is the page name so this is how you can just start and create a new website 
Now, after this, if you will suppose unload this particular project, let me do that or let me open a new instance of Visual Studio where I will show you how to open. Since while creating, I executed uh, Visual Studio as an administrator. So even now, for opening it uh, later, I will have to open the Visual Studio as an administrator only because otherwise, I would not be having any privilege to open this website. And here, as in the recent one also, you can see my demo web. Apart from this, you can also come to open, file, open, website, and here in the local IAS, you can find your ones. If you have not chosen the HTTP, you can come to file system and here you can locate your particular website in your directories. So for me, I will come to local IAS, will choose my web and will open it. And here after coming to the solution explorer, you can see like this project is already loaded in this Visual Studio instance. So this is how you can start working with the Visual Studio and you can create a new website. In our coming videos, we are going to learn few more topics in ASP.NET.